Algeria's Kasbah or Citadel, founded on a hill in the country's capital, on the ruins of past civilizations, including the Berber, the Roman, and later Ottoman, was made a UNESCO Cultural World Heritage Site in 1992. But Rida Kara, a local craftsman, says the citadel and some of its features that make it such a treasured site are under threat. We have to save craftsmen working inside the Kasbah because it's falling into ruins. We need to restore this area. We urgently need help. Without help, handicraft is going to disappear. Several types of crafts have already disappeared, like the copperware or the ornament makers. If authorities don't act to save it, nothing will remain from the Kasbah. Like many of the people who live here, Rida has worked on many of the structures in the Kasbah. Many of them, especially those which date from the Ottoman era, are in an advanced space of disrepair. Mohammed Ziri is one of the few young men to take up traditional crafts and has workshops here, contributing to some restoration projects. This kind of job is more threatened than ever. There are fewer and fewer craftsmen here. There are no schools to learn how to do it. I would love any young person who has a father or a relative who is a craftsman to try to learn what they do so it can last. There is a famous saying which goes like, when parents die, only the skill they teach to us remains. Some structures were built in the 16th and 18th century and follow the same pattern. Three stories around a central courtyard and a terrace on the roof. Algerian authorities have listed age, neglect and overpopulation as main contributors to the deterioration. They say any work done to preserve the Kasbah will depend on the state of the structure. We decided that the priority was to restore ancient castles. We also decided to restore ancient sites like hammams. This operation cost a lot of money because those places were dilapidated buildings. They were about to fall down, so we decided to restore them. It's a lot of money and the expertise to do it was also very expensive. The Kasbah's population has doubled in the last 50 years to 80,000, more than what it was originally designed to accommodate. Many people who were working here were old men. Most of them did not pass on any of their knowledge. They are retired or worse, many have died. So few are left to pass on the tradition. Tradition that is a major part in making this fortified place a UNESCO site. But now people fear it could lose its title and they could lose their history. Hebo Morgan Al Jazeera.